After that, we see that the other beginning, other beginning was that uh, Santhar placed the grievances of uh, for uh, redressal before British government. Before British government, Santhal, Santhal uh, uh, extended extended their uh, grievances for redressal. But no, no, but nothing doing. The government, the British government did not heed to the problem of the Santhalis. After that, ultimately, they decided to revolt under the leadership of Sindhu and Khan. Okay, ultimately, we see that they had, they had proclaimed, they had proclaimed Santhali, Santhal Pragana as independent state. As independent state, they had gathered in a field that is known as Bhagnadihi. Bhagnadi, Bhagnadi, that with 10,000, 10,000 Santhals gathered there at Bhagnadi field and they proclaimed, they proclaimed their region, their area as independent, independent state. Okay, and that had taken place on 30th, 30th June 1855. On 30th June 1855, the 10,000 Santhalis, they gathered in Bhagnadi uh, field. And proclaim, they are proclaimed under the leadership of Sidhu and Khan that Santhal Pargana was an independent state. After that, on 7 July, they declared it, they declared it openly that these areas, Santhal Pargana, was an independent state. After that, the British rule, British rule came to an end, came to an end after the proclamation. The British government came to an end, came to an end. <coughs> From Birbhum to Munger, from Birbhum to Munger, the British government's administrative system ended from, from these areas. And revolt spread in Birbhum and the part of Murshidabad. Okay, the spread, the movement is spread or the revolt is spread in Birbhum and few parts of Murshidabad. After that, we see that when the revolt is started, when the revolt is started against the British government, they proclaim the Santhal region as their, as their as the, as the independent state. Okay, so British government also became active and they came with a modern, modern weapon and they, they faced, the, they faced the Santhalis. Santhalis were fighting with the traditional weapons, bow, arrow and all that. And as the British government, they had, they had, they had, they had suppressed, they had, they had, they had quilled down the Santhal, Santhal rebellion on, 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 in February 1856. In this, 23rd, 23 Santhals were killed and 14,000 Santhals were jailed and Sidhu and Kanu were hanged. Okay, Sidhu and Kanu were hanged. This, in this way, it was a big win. Afterwards, if you go to discuss about the characteristics of the rebellion, the Santhal rebellion, we will see that this reward and uh, this reward was the this reward this reward was the uh, freedom of war for the common people. Actually, there is a historian, Professor Narahari Kaviraj. In his book, he has told that it was the freedom war for the common men. Number one uh, characteristics. Number second characteristics. In recent research, it is it is it, it, it is disclosed that. This was the first, this was the first armed rebellion against the British government, against the colonial government. After that, in third number characteristics, you will see that guerrilla war tactics, when the Santhalis could not face the British government, the colonial government, they had applied, they had used guerrilla war tactics. After that, in this, in this uh, rebellion, Dog, Jamaat, Stelis supported the supported the Santhalis, and after that, in in this revolt, in this Santhali revolt, we also see that the Santhali children, Santhali children, and Santhali children participated, and women also participated. When the women were arrested, they had gone to jail with the babies. Okay, these were the characteristics. If the question is asked that what are the characteristics for two months, then any of these. Uh, you can write, uh, you can write as characteristics. Afterwards, results if you go to see, results or impacts of the rebellion. Okay, results or impacts of the rebellion we will see. Number one, we will see the British government became aware of the problem of the
the Samhali. Aware of the problem of the Samhali and you try to try to reduce their suffering. Number one result of the Samhali rebellion. And what did we find? That after the revolt was suppressed in the month of February 1856, okay, British government, the colonial government came to know, they became aware or conscious of the problems of the Samkhalis. Okay, Samkhalis. And they had, British government had tried to introduce such acts and laws which would reduce the problems or the issues of the Samkhalis. After that, British passed the Forest Act. After the Santali Rebellion, after the Santali Rebellion of 1855, British government introduced an act that is known as Forest Act of 1850, 1859. Okay, for this, it is said that, it is said that, uh, said that uh, a few parts, few parts of the Santhal Pargana, few parts of the Santhal Pargana would be reserved for the Santali people. Okay, would be reserved for the Santali people. After that, we see that British created Santhal Pargana. After that, after the after the after the after the uh, Santhal revolt, we see that uh, uh, Santhal Pargana was uh, founded by the British government. And uh, this separate this separate state for the Santhals. Okay, this separate state for the Santhal. One feature we see that in that separate state. We see that British British rule would not be implemented or would not be introduced. The in the in the in the separate region of the Santhal, which is known as Santhal Pargana, over there British rule, a British laws would not be implemented. The law of the Santhals, a Santhali law would be invoked there. After that, after that we will see, we will see that uh, 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 there's an historian by the name of Su Su Prakash Roy. Su Prakash Roy has said that this revolt did shake the foundation of the British administration. Administration and that it was the forerunner of the Indian Rebellion. Okay, Su Kumar, Su Kumar, uh, uh, Su Prakash Roy, he said that it, this Santhal Rebellion, this Santhal Rebellion had shook, shook the very foundation of the British Empire. British Empire and it all these were the important results or the uh, impacts of the Santhal Rebellion. One question, one question it, I have seen in, uh, in 2007, in, 2000, uh, in 2017, one question is asked, one question is asked that is why did the Santhal uh, rebel in 1855? This was the question asked in 2017 for two months. Okay, so what I have discussed here, you must, you may next, you must, you must go through that. What I have discussed, I have discussed that the causes of the Santhal Rebellion, what I have discussed, I have discussed the characteristics of the Santhal Rebellion, what I have discussed, I have discussed about the results of the Santhal Rebellion, what I have discussed, I have discussed about rule, I have discussed about Santhal Pargana, I have discussed about Santhal, okay, all this, I have discussed about the leaders of the Santhal Rebellion, all these things you must, you know, go through in your, in, 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 at your home, you solve what question I have told you and also solve the question which appeared in 2017. Why did the Santhal rebel in 1855? That means causes of the Santhal rebellion of 1855. So till today, so much, but, but, uh, but uh, what I have taught you here today, if you have any problem, write in comment box. If you have any question related to this, write in comment box so that I would understand that yes, your level of, your level of understanding is good and if you are not understanding your comment or your question, I would certainly reply. So till today, so much, in next class we would again meet. Thank you very much. Be happy. Stay at home.